Hey everybody, good afternoon. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm gonna give you an update on what's going on with Storm Ian because it's now it's forecasted to be a hurricane. We have hurricane warnings out for the coast of South Carolina. Tropical storm warnings for North Carolina, but I have heard that there is gonna be a hurricane watch, if not out already, for North Carolina. Now, so far it's forecasted to be a Cat 1 hurricane. So far, up to 75 miles per hour, barely making to a Cat 1 hurricane with 92 miles per hour wind gusts. And over here for Florida, you're continuing to be in tropical storm conditions until later on this evening for sure. And you do have some storm surge I will show you. Now, if you tried watching my video from earlier, for some reason, after about two hours, two and a half hours, I don't know what YouTube did, the, the video, the audio did not meet up with the video so it needed an update anyway ever since all this hurricane forecast had come out by national hurricane center so if you tried watching that video that's why you're not able to watch it because i don't want to put out something like that and i just turn it to unlisted but thank you so much for visiting my channel i will go through this quick and just show you the official information also show you what could happen according to a couple other models now, so far, this is still the rainfall totals from National Hurricane Center. Not much of that has changed. A lot of four to six inches in all this yellow from South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida. Also, this six to 10 inches is still expected around the Charleston area for South Carolina. And you have a lot of it still in the Gulf. This system is going to sit here and spin for a little bit before it comes on shore. So it is a little bit chance to be maybe a high end cat one. But so far, it don't look like Cat 2 is going to be possible so far. And a lot of rainfall still for northeastern Florida. Now, your storm surge did change. Now, you have 2 to 4 feet all the way around North Carolina, also around for Virginia as well. You also have 4 to 7 feet from Adisto Beach in South Carolina all the way to South Santee River. The rest of this is all 4 to 6 feet all the way around South Carolina, Georgia, northern Florida. You still have 1 to 3 feet over here for Flagler all the way down to Patrick Air Force Base and still 1 to 3 feet for southwestern Florida for Bonita Beach and Chokoloski. But so far, you have a hurricane watch for Georgia and northern Florida as well as the system comes around. So far, it's not showing North Carolina. So as you look at the latest with the Euro, the Euro shows it does get strong. It turns a little bit sharper. It's going against what National Weather Service, National Hurricane Center, also what the high resolution rapid refresh is seeing. So it is showing it turning sharper, a 979, the same as HRRR is seeing it, then comes in and just flurries around, still dropping a lot of rainfall for the hours to come. This is the latest run from the Ural, the 6Z this morning. With the total rainfall from the Ural being different than the rest as well. So it comes in pretty heavy, a lot of heavy for the coast for Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina, a little bit closer towards Savannah, that's not where National Weather Service is looking. And then after it becomes a, a tropical depression, it's going to flurry some more rainfall for everybody else towards northeast. National Weather Service has it a little further northern. Just about the same area, but the heaviness is a little further northern in South Carolina where Ural is taking it further into Georgia and South Carolina on this side, on the Georgia side. And this is why I want to show you a couple of different ones. Euro is showing that it's going to come in a lot of winds. You still have 50 and almost 60 miles per hour wind gusts for Florida in certain areas, but it's hitting in Georgia as well with the high 50s, and that red is 60s. I can show you by the state so you can see according to what they have for South Carolina because different impacts according from the Euro to the high resolution rapid refresh. So the Euro is showing that it will come into Georgia, but it will hit a lot of South Carolina with 50s and 60s, and that brown is getting into the 70s. And all the strong winds, up to 92 miles per hour wind gusts, is offshore over here in the Atlantic. Now, high resolution rapid refresh shows all the way to Saturday morning. All this is going to come in and then swing around for the Virginia, Pennsylvania, portions of eastern Kentucky, maybe even get into southeastern Ohio. It's going to grow. Maryland, Delaware, southern Jersey, and it shows a lot of winds. And higher resolution rapid refresh is accurate, and everything else is showing the northern push. Ural is the only one showing the southern push, so we do got to keep that into mind that even though it's the only one maybe being the outlier, which is hard to say about the Ural, we do need to keep it in mind it is the Ural showing this guy, so we'll see if things change. It is showing very high winds for Florida, high 80s 
on the coast of Florida where you have all that threat for the tornadoes as well. So please be aware you still have a lot more winds coming. And that is going to be happening within the next 12 hours. Very high winds. Then it's going to be reaching up towards South Carolina sometime within the next 24 hours. It will be close. It will be wind gusts. But when it starts coming on land with the winds in about 24 hours, 10 o'clock Friday morning, according to high resolution refresh, bringing in 60s to 70s. And it's even bringing in a little bit of 80s. That white right there is 80 miles per hour wind gusts. Then it's going towards North Carolina. Then it's going to blow up and go a little further for the higher elevations of North Carolina. You see all that red? That's high 60s. That would be Hendersonville, Asheville. And it's going up to Virginia, Maryland, Delaware. It's going up to the northeast. So it is going up to a bunch of states according to what all these models are seeing. It's going to go up into the mid-Atlantic and just blow up into a big rain ball. But you can see how precise the amount of rainfall is with the HRRR. It is bringing a big bomb of rainfall for all of y'all over there. It's once again, not showing so much for Georgia. The only one that showed that Georgia really has something to not panic, but think about, worry about a little bit, would be the Ural. So the Ural is the only one that is showing that. But this one is showing that South Carolina, North Carolina, has a lot of impacts coming with this storm. It is bringing over seven inches. That purple right there can be anywhere from 10 to 14, maybe even more, but it is the lighter shade, so maybe a foot of rainfall coming in. This is within the next 48 hours. A lot of this brown, this brown is all five to seven, even the lighter brown getting around eight inches. See, it's seven and a half right there. It's going into North Carolina, bringing a lot of rainfall for North Carolina as well, heavier along the coast. A lot of rainfall for Virginia. I will update you. This will change, of course. So I don't really want to go past 48 hours because I believe that would change as well. But you can see how it just revolves according to HRRR and just sits there for a little bit before it finally comes on land. And it takes that northern swing. So it definitely puts these rain bands of tornadoes potentially coming in towards North Carolina, maybe tracking towards Virginia, maybe a little bit of southern Delaware as well. And H R does see a 979 millibar pressure, but it shows it further to the north. So all these impacts will be a lot further, just like what National Hurricane is, is Center is saying, all the way up towards eastern Kentucky, maybe West Virginia, Virginia, as a tropical depression. Even on the 6Z of the Euro, it is showing that it is a little bit more of a northern push, and it is confirming that it will maybe weaken right before landfall. All of them are showing a 979, then it jumps to a 980. The latest one on Euro is showing 981. But you can see the northern push. The previous run is a little bit further south. The northern push is the latest run. So if I was you in Georgia, all y'all wondering if you have hurricane force winds coming your way, I would say no. I'd say all this is doing the northern push as far as the impacts. But I do have this link in the description for all of you with your homes. And if you look down here on the right, you can choose Euro, you can choose GFS, you can choose high resolution rapid refresh. You can even click right here and do the NAM and the icon. You can do all these models with this and see what all the impacts are. So if we just go 48 hours with the high resolution rapid refresh, it's still bringing a lot of winds. Look, you have 50 and getting 60 miles per hour wind gusts towards eastern Florida, and it is getting higher. It's getting 70, almost 80 over here by Oak Hill and Daytona Beach. So it is going to be spinning around still for y'all. As it goes towards Georgia, it is bringing 50 miles per hour wind gusts in this purple. But once it gets in this pink, it starts becoming 40. And that includes Savannah. It looks like 50. It was showing 60 earlier. All this is changing a little further north. Still, you know how it is. These tracks will change. It's not just the first cone. But it's HRRR is showing 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts for a lot of y'all. So use this link. Zoom into your area and see what your potential outcome is. Click back and forth between all the models so you know your high and your low range of what could happen out here because it's showing a lot of winds coming for a lot of the East Coast. Rainfall as well. You got the Euro, but let's go by H Triple R because Euro is taking that northern track just like H Triple R is seen. Still showing at Daytona Beach can anywhere from two to four inches of rainfall still. But when it goes around towards Georgia, it's not showing a whole bunch, like three quarters for Savannah, then it hits South Carolina, then it hits North Carolina, and that's where you got your heavy rainfall. A little bit lighter for upstate, like Greenville, Spartanburg, 
but it is heavy for North Carolina as well, all along the coast, Virginia, Delaware, Southern Jersey. It is getting towards y'all. This is the first 48 hours. According to the Euro, the next three days and five days, it starts going y'all way a little bit as well. So use this link, click into your area, go amongst all these models so you know you're high and you know you're low. But that's the update. That way I give you the updated information because all this is just starting to come out. Besides that processing on that video, I don't know what happened with that. So I wrote YouTube that I'm waiting to hear back from them. Hopefully that never happens again. Thank you so much for letting me know, guys, so I can get that off because we all know we don't want that. But if you look here, we're starting to get issues already on the storm surge. So it's already showing that we have flooding reported so far over here by Palm Coast, considerable flooding. Over here by St. Augustine, we've got flash flood reporting, waters entering homes. Also over here by St. Augustine, we have fire rescue report, storm surge flooding is currently at or exceeding Hurricane Matthew level. That's just awful, man. Many roads along the St. John's County coastline are impassable due to storm flood waters on the roads. So just be aware y'all are dealing with all the storm surge from all this flooding on it. And it is going to be for a few more hours at least. So God bless all of you. i like to say a prayer for all of y'all for the impacts that's maybe to come from this storm. I want to say the same thing I did for Florida before they got hit with the eye wall the other day. God bless you all. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. God bless you all. May you have a very safe night. Please prepare for those that the impacts look like they're coming your way. I appreciate your time a second time today. All glory goes to God. May he keep all of you safe, your friends, your family, the people that you don't really sit well with. We have to bless them. It's not those that we're in fight with. It's not with the flesh and blood. So God bless all of them. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll see you all in the morning.